Welcome boys. Hope you all are doing great. I'm back with a new video. But before starting with a new topic, let's take a quick recap of the previous session. So boys, in the previous session, in the previous video, we have discussed about first generation computers. Time duration of this generation is from 1942 to 59. We have discussed few examples of first generation computers also. That is ENIAC, EDVAC, UNIVAC 1, IBM 650 and IBM 701. We have discussed characteristics also of this generation. That is they are very expensive, huge in size, produce large amount of heat during working. They use vacuum tubes in punched card as their input and output devices. So like today we will discuss about the next generation or you can say the second generation of computers. Part 3 Second generation computers Time period of this generation is from 1959 to 65. The second generation computers used transistors in place of vacuum tubes. Like the first generation, these computers relied on magnetic tapes. Second generation computers moved from machine language to assembly language, which allowed the programmers to specify instructions in words. For Dran, COBOL, basic languages came into existence in this generation. Punched cards and paper tapes were used as input devices and output was presented through printouts. These computers were faster, cheaper, smaller and more efficient than the computers of first generation. Now, hardware component used in this generation. Number one, transistors. A transistors is a semiconductor device used to amplify or switch electronic signals and electrical power. It is composed of semiconductor material usually with at least three terminals for connection to an external circuit. Number two, magnetic tapes. Magnetic tape is a medium for magnetic recording made of a thin magnetizable coating on a long narrow strip of plastic film. It was developed in Germany in 1928 based on magnetic wire recording. Now we will discuss few characteristics of this generation. Number one, compact in size. Number two, less expensive. Number three, fast processing speed than the first generation computers. Number four, magnetic core technology were used as primary memory. Number five, magnetic disk and magnetic tapes were used as the secondary storage. Number six, generates less heat during working. Number seven, assembly or coding language were used in these computers. Number eight, multi-programming operating system were used in this computers. Now we will discuss
discuss few examples of this generation computers. Under this, the very first one is Univac 1108 Universal Automatic Computer Model 1108. Number 2 IBM 1620 Number 3 IBM 7094 Number 4 CDC 1604 Number 5 CDC 3600 Only this much for today. Now we will continue in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Stay safe.